listen up, Mega Man. Wily escaped to a secret spaceship. While I modify Rush for use in outer space, you better make as many items as possible. Hello everyone, Treeks here, and welcome back to Mega Man 4. <laughs> this is going to be the last time we are actually going to be able to buy weapons. So I can actually imagine Dr. Light talking about uh, buying weapons. <laughs> However, I think we are going to be good. We've got plenty of energy tanks, even got an S tank and a W tank, a weapons tank. So I think we are good for immediate departure towards Wiley's space station yet again. Which is more like a ship this time around. <laughs> But we've got a ship of our own. Rush is going to be able to actually take us there. And it's time to finish this. I would say finish this once and for all, but we all know better. <laughs> time for another space adventure here on the Game Boy. Let's go find this Wily. Ow. Missiles, help. <laughs> Let's go slide under you. It's going to be a bit safer, I guess. Shooting these things is tempting, but um, of course, treadmill, be careful. <laughs> Ooh, there's a very big metal, and a very big gun. Oh, he's going to shoot a tennis ball. <laughs> For some reason, this reminds me of a tennis ball. <laughs> okay, just remember, take a good look on how it actually goes. It does not always go straight, as you can see. Sometimes it actually bounces off the floor. But usually, whenever you stay all the way to the left of the screen, you should actually be safe. And this mid-boss is going to be a piece of cake. Unless he's actually smart enough to duck in time. <laughs> Which he also does occasionally, as you can see. Man, this guy takes a lot of hits. <laughs> and there he finally goes. Took you long enough. <laughs> right, what do we have next? These guys again. Also looks somewhat familiar. <laughs> Make sure not to go too far to the left, because otherwise this guy is going to respawn, of course. Let's go kill him from this side. It would have been nice if he actually dropped an energy sphere. <laughs> Already almost dead, and we have another one of those guys. Nice. I don't really want to do this, um, but I also don't want to take any risks. I only have one extra stock after all, so... Oh, homing missiles, yeah. Let's go take a bit more risk this time around. It's going to hurt me a lot if I actually um, stand on this thing. And at the same time, are not too careful. No. This is what I mean, but at least you will die faster. <laughs> also worth it. Oh, here's a Joe. We've not seen you in a while, Joe. <laughs> not very present in Mega Man 4, aren't you? Oh, help. Let's just ignore this guy. It's going to be way too difficult here. Sometimes just keep on running is a bit more of a safer option, you might say. <laughs> actually sticking behind and trying to kill everything. Sometimes actually you uh, manage to just kill yourself. Right, boss time it looks like. Oh, this guy actually has a napalm bomb. <laughs> Also need to be careful for that grabby hand. Oh, he also has Balaad's weapon. <laughs> no, don't you grab me. Looking at this so far, I have a feeling this guy actually knows a lot of our attacks. Yeah, here comes uh, the rock attack. <laughs> so, you're some kind of Mega Man, eh? You also have a lot of these abilities. <laughs> if not all of them. Let's not give him the chance to actually show them all. If that stupid grabby hand uh, actually stops killing me. <laughs> Right, another rock throw. One more. There we go. This way I actually like the machine a lot more. When it actually looks broken. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Wily. Where are you hiding? You cannot be too far. Why am I not surprised to actually find these guys again? <laughs> Always the enemies coming from the pits. Well, at least these are nice enough to actually show up before you actually jump over the pit. They can, of course, also appear the moment you jump over, and that way they can be a bit more uh, annoying. <laughs> I see a couple of energy tanks. I think I'm interested. One giant one and a small one. I can actually use one if I need to be honest. <laughs> 
Yeah. If you don't mind, I'm going to ignore you. <laughs> Alright, this guy can also take. Easy enemies like those. I don't have to worry about being hit. I'd much rather find an energy sphere. And that way I don't have to use my energy tank. But I think, looking at the Steiger, that is going to be uh, impossible. Here, I'm going to use one. I tried to actually postpone it, but this guy I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to avoid. <laughs> Even though I actually did. <laughs> but you know how it works. If I actually did not uh, take that energy tank, then he would have hit me. And that is how it works. Let's go over the spike pit. Actually not care about this robot. I've got the health now. <laughs> Let's go stop here. Ow. You're asking for it over there! <laughs> Silly enemies. No, oh, chicken. You're useless to me. I cannot farm for peach chips on you. We're not gonna go back towards Dr. Light's lab. <laughs> Poor Dr. Light. He's not going to actually uh, become rich of us anymore. Plenty of weapon energy. I have a lot of things to heal, so... Oh, yeah, even if you have the auto-charge, take in mind, if you do have one of your weapons equipped, it will still actually heal that weapon. It will only automatically heal the moment your uh, Mega Buster is equipped. But I think that actually uh, speaks for itself. <laughs> That's not something I have to explain. But just in case, I'll uh, still say it. Oh! It's a high jump. Hey, hello there! <laughs> Sometimes these guys can be a bit predictable. They're trying to surprise you, and yet they're also still predictable. Even though this guy actually managed to surprise me! <laughs> nice one! Uh, we're all the way back here again. That's not nice. Cutting time, I guess. Oh, nice! <sighs> and the worst part is, I actually need to keep this in, because I'm going to return with two lives. So if I actually start cutting now, you guys are going to notice, hey, something is wrong. Why do you have so many lives all of a sudden? <laughs> Such an embarrassing jump, and I'm not even going to be allowed to cut it out. <laughs> You. Yeah, not falling for that the second time. <laughs> not sure what you were thinking, but... Uh... <laughs> well, here we are. Next mid-boss. This guy is going to be uh, a bit weak against Napalm Bomb. Emphasis on the a bit weak, because uh, this guy is a bit annoying. <laughs> it's not very easy to actually connect with your Napalm Bomb, because of the way it actually works. And this guy splits into four. Making it uh, absolute hell to try to kill this guy. So even though the napalm bomb does do the most damage, it's still not going to be easy to actually uh, destroy this boss with it. Luckily, the moment uh, less of these guys are present, it's going to be easier to avoid them at least. <laughs> and therefore, I was able to survive for some reason. <laughs> Alright, next... Oh, whoa. Yeah, I'm not going to even mention these guys anymore. <laughs> Every single pit, I'm going to stand still and wait for something to appear. <laughs> it does not always, I know, but it does enough times. Like with these guys, for instance. Super annoying. Oh, 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 oh. Such a waste to lose energy to such easy enemies. But here we have an extra life. And that might be nice to actually bring along. We did get ourselves a new checkpoint, after all, after the mid-boss. Dying is not going to be as bad anymore, hopefully. But I'd much rather not die at all, if you don't mind. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Bye, Joe. <laughs> no, <laughs> he still hit me. <laughs> Alright, mummy man. You are not going to be the death of me. Not going to happen. Oh, Rush! Don't scare me like that! <laughs> oh, vacuum robot, help. This 
get down quickly because that way he's not able to hit me. And hopefully he's going to drop some energy. And he does not. <laughs> P-chips. Those are kind of useless right now. Well, this guy's also not able to hit me, so that's nice. Here we have something we can ring boomerang. And because of equipping that weapon, it's going to heal the ring boomerang. <laughs> that's a bit useless, I know, but... Uh... Come on, Rush. Ooh, this actually looks a lot more interesting. 1-Up and Energy Tank. Let's make sure to actually survive this mummy. Time it so he disappears. And at the same time, whoosh. Like that. <laughs> oh, crap, I did not actually pick up the 1-Up. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, I did pick up the Energy Tank. Let's go make sure I don't waste the 1-Up. Actually went through the hatch a bit too soon. Oh, this time around we have a bit of a different layout, it looks like. And it even keeps on changing in mid-fight. Also interesting. Oh, that was quick. Apparently you only have to hit one of them. One of them is going to be real and the rest is fake and only the real one counts. <laughs> nice to find out. Something I actually did not know. <laughs> I actually thought you needed to kill all of them. Oh, yeah, of course. I forgot about you guys. <laughs> to be careful with the rest of these pits. The tiger does not fit through the hole. <laughs> Bam! Energy, thank you. Weapon energy, I mean, with that. And I'm not going to bother to kill Joe. Same deal with you. Because you are going to raise yourself and I'm going to slide under. <laughs> and enter the Wily transport system yet again. We've been in so many of these, haven't we? <laughs> but now we once again need to take care of all of the eight robot masters from the game. The traditional robot masters, with that we mean, of course. So Belat is not going to be here, but the rest will be. Let's go do them in order, counterclockwise, from left to right, like always. <laughs> Starting off with Toadman, who we're going to ring Boomerang, because we did not do that last time. <laughs> he was, of course, the very first robot master we started with in this game. Interesting how we're also starting with him uh, this time around in the boss rush. And that was one. Easiest of the robot masters, I guess. Although Pharaoh Man is of course also very easy. <laughs> because of his weakness. Bright Man. The guy who always looks like he has a good idea. <laughs> with the light bulb on his head. You, we're going to rain to death. You're going to try to stop me, I know. That's not something I can avoid. <laughs> But I can make sure it keeps on raining in the meantime. Oh, we still have one hit left. There we go. Not able to fully heal, but hopefully I'm going to be able to do that on the next one. Which is hopefully going to be Pharaoh, man. Let's go look. Yeah, there he is. I can actually guarantee myself uh, a no-hit run with you. <laughs> Yeah, because of needing to equip this weapon, I'm not able to use my charge shot against him, unfortunately, so... Oh, he actually hit me! How dare you! <laughs> You're not allowed to hit me! <laughs> but no matter, it was only a slight hit, and I'm still able to fully heal myself. Full power! And I guess this is going to be the final of the Mega Man 4 Robot Masters, when it looks like it is. Here is Ringman. Pharaoh shot... That is, of course, an item I can uh, charge up. <laughs> it's a bit hard to actually counter his attacks because of him being so fast, I know. <laughs> so, there goes my health again. But at least that was the Mega Man 4 bosses. Speaking in NES terms. Now continuing to Mega Man 5. Crystal Man is up first, apparently. These guys I did a bit out of order in part 3 and 4. But we know their weaknesses. Charge Kick is going to be your weapon of choice. Ow. Ah. It's a bit too late actually pressing the button apparently. And there we go. Lands right into my shoe. <laughs> if you can even call it a shoe. I'm not too sure what it actually is for a robot. <laughs> Mega Man's feet. Not sure if Mega Man actually wears shoes. It does look like he does. 
Chargeman is up next. Our good old locomotive friend. We are going to throw a couple of rocks against you. That is still apparently the best way to stop a train. Just throw some rocks at him. <laughs> Put some rocks on the train tracks. And the train will stop. <laughs> yeah, I know you can actually make yourself invincible. But I can be patient. Oh, nice. <laughs> awesome way to kill Charge Man. And with the Locomotive Man, we are going to move on to... If I can actually get up here. One of the final two. Yeah, Stone Man. Predictable. Napalm Bomb. Using the weapon of the Robot Master, we're apparently going to do last. <laughs> apparently, Napalm Man is supposed to be the final one. Looking how these uh, Robot Masters are actually laid out, with all of the first phase Robot Masters on the left side, and all of the second phase Robot Masters on the right side. <laughs> you might say this is actually the recommended order of the game itself, you might say. So, with Stone Man as the second to last, this has to be Napalm Man. Let's go face you with Crystal Man's weapon, because we actually did not have that last time. Also works against him, of course. Well, since we did him first last time, we um, kind of had to deal with him with a Mega Man 4 weapon. <laughs> Which, of course, also works. Well, this is the more traditional sense, you might say. So, with that taken care of, it is time to move on to the final boss. It is time for Wily. The game will actually allow us to heal a lot of our equipment. It probably knows we have to auto-charge. That's the whole reason why it actually uh, does it like this. <laughs> Let's go see if we've healed enough of our Power Stone. Because that's going to be the weapon we're going to need first. Looks fine enough. Not full, but um, also not empty. <laughs> Hopefully that's going to be enough. Let's go step in the final Wily Teleporter. Which will bring us... To a cutscene. Ooh. Game Boy game actually doing cutscenes. Things are becoming weird now. <laughs> right, where does Mega Man end up? At a giant wily robot. What else did you expect? <laughs> Very huge enemy this time around. So big in fact that he does not even fit into the screen fully. Equip our power stone. Because that is uh, what we need to use in order to hit his weak point, which is pretty clearly up there. That little button. He also uses it uh, to actually shoot a couple of projectiles occasionally at us. But that is what we need to hit. Pretty easy to hit even with our power stone. Pretty difficult to actually avoid his um, punching moves, uh, I'm uh, noticing. <laughs> oh! You know what? I'm going to die if I'm not careful. And I don't need to die, because I've got super powerful weapons, like this S-Tank for instance. What better way to actually use it than all the way at the end of the game. <laughs> and I've also got a couple of regular energy tanks of course, so... I don't think I have to worry about dying, but I also don't want to actually waste all of them. I'd like to prove that I'm at least somewhat able to beat this boss. And not only because I've way too many uh, health items. <laughs> That was step one. You would be a fool to think if this is going to be the only step. <laughs> oh, he blew up his arm. <laughs> and now the robot will actually lower itself, revealing its head. And therefore also his new weak point. Now it's time to actually pull out our special weapon, the Blade Cracker. And this is the point where we want to use it. Also be careful for his sucking moves. That is of course the moment you need to hit him, but... Um, it can also suck you in and therefore hit you. <laughs> now he's going to charge. Oh! Yeah. I must admit that is probably very hard to um, avoid. I cannot say impossible because I think you can actually equip Rush Coil or something and try to jump over. But usually uh, this attack he does now is charge. And that is considered impossible to avoid. <laughs> Just make sure you have enough energy tanks and... Um, Try to shoot him every single time he opens his mouth. And then hopefully you are going to be able to outlive him. But that attack is uh, pretty much impossible to avoid. 
It goes all the way to the right of the screen. There's no way you can avoid it without actually uh, doing something very complicated. <laughs> but I'm not afraid of you. I've got more health than you. Although, only barely. <laughs> apparently, I still got hit all the way at the end. <laughs> but apparently, not so much that I actually died. Now, was this it? Or is there one more step? Here's Wiley in his capsule, at least. Is it going to crash? Is he going to fall out and uh, end up begging again? <laughs> Does not look like it. There is indeed one more step. And seeing how many health I have... And this is going to be my first step <laughs> in the third phase of this fight. Which I can say is going to be the final one. Similar to Mega Man 4 on the NES, we're going to be using the Pharaoh shot in order to reach this capsule of his. As you can see, he's going to try to teleport away from us, occasionally show up in order to bump us. At that point, we can actually try to use in order to hit him. Sometimes the screen will start auto-scrolling, making it a bit easier to hit him, because then he will not teleport away. <laughs> It looks like he's already going to be on his final hit. Oh, missed. Nice. And with that I mean not nice, of course. <laughs> it was nice for him. And nice for the video, because it looked funny. <laughs> but now, do we have you, sir? Yeah? Yeah, there he goes. But it ain't over until he starts begging. So far he's only sitting. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. <laughs> and that way we reach the end of another Mega Man game. Wily begging for his life. <laughs> Although it usually doesn't take very long as you may know. Shifty eyebrows over here always has a way out. <laughs> so he's yet again going to escape to fight for another day. Oh, and speaking of fighting for another day, we also need to make sure we are going to be able to do so, of course. The spaceship is going to crumble. We quickly need to make our way out of here. These ball cats are not going to stop me. Bam! So hurry up. Next screen. Oh, but I think we're in trouble because this is something we cannot blast through. <laughs> Is Mega Man also going to die now? No. Balat! Why are you here? Stop, Balat! You're badly injured! I know, Mega Man. After our battle, I realized that I was wrong. This is all I can do for you now. Goodbye. Balat! He's going to sacrifice himself in order to save us. We get sucked into space. <laughs> but since we are a robot, we are going to be able to survive that. The explosion of the ship is something we wouldn't have been able to survive, so... <laughs> it's a good thing. Balat we were not able to save anymore. But he was able to save us. There goes another plan of Wily, trying to go for world domination. Crumbles in space yet again. So, with that, it is time for the enemy roll call, and therefore the end of the game. And also time for the closing. I actually remembered this game also having an end credits, something I'm fairly certain of Mega Man 5 does have. For this one I'm not too sure. <laughs> Seeing how the game actually starts with an enemy roll call, it might. But I'm also not really sure. I am fairly confident it actually does not have an end credits now that I think about it, so... <laughs> I think I actually might um, use this as a closing yet again. Not gonna go into too much detail. All of the closings we've been doing in the last couple of weeks um, have been kind of the same, but... Uh <laughs> At least any game does deserve one. And during an enemy uh, roll call is usually uh, the perfect time to do it. While going over all of the Robot Masters. All of these guys we have been seeing at least twice. Three times, or m maybe even four times if you count the NES times we've uh, met these guys. <laughs> However, that might actually change up in the next game. Because you may expect 
Mega Man 5, which is going to be the final Game Boy game when it comes to the Mega Man series. There's only one more game we need to do. I'm going to reserve at least two weekends for that. Might even become three, because it is going to be the longest game. But in that game, you may expect Mega Man 5 bosses, the final four we actually have not seen yet in this game. The remaining four. Which are, of course, after seeing the four in this game, Gravity Man, Gyro Man, Star Man, and Wave Man. You might actually think those guys will actually appear in Mega Man 5, including four of the Robot Masters from Mega Man 6 on the NES. After what we've seen in the first four games, I'm pretty sure that is what you may expect. However, I can actually also already give away in the final Mega Man game on the Game Boy, things actually change up for the first time. We are going to be up for a surprise whenever next week comes. <laughs> and things are going to actually look a bit different. And allow me to say, that is not going to be a bad thing per se. That might actually turn out interesting. Next week is going to be the final time we're going to dive back into the Game Boy Mega Man games. Because there's only one game left. Mega Man 5. Which I think is probably the best one on the Game Boy, so... Good thing we were actually able to save that one for last, <laughs> you might say. <laughs> but in all honesty, it is my personal favorite. I like that one the best. And now we've finally reached that point, because Mega Man 4 is complete. I do like how the show-off of all the Robot Masters in this game is actually uh, pretty much an entire fight again. <laughs> the game really uh, takes its time. Showing off these Robot Masters by uh, making an entire fight out of these guys again. <laughs> it's interesting, actually. <laughs> but anyway, I don't think I actually have to talk my way through the entire cutscene. There's no need for that. I've pretty much already said everything I wanted to in the earlier games, the other closings, and uh, everything I wanted to say for this one here. So, I think I can actually already um, close off the project here. And thank you all for watching, because yet again, thank you all for watching. <laughs> if it weren't for you guys actually uh, watching these videos, it would actually be a lot less fun for me to actually upload them, <laughs> record them and upload them. There's not huge crowds actually uh, watching my videos, I know, but uh, I actually don't mind. Every soul I'm actually able to make happy with these videos, I think is already a plus. So, thank you all yet again for watching another Mega Man game. If you've been getting tired of the Mega Man games, I can actually reassure you there's only one more left. <laughs> of course, not one Mega Man game left, but there is going to be one left on the Game Boy. So for the next one, we are once again going to enter hiatus, finally. Something I did not want to do for these games, obviously. <laughs> but hiatus is coming up pretty soon. Thank you for playing. The game was yet again presented by Capcom. The enemy roll call was apparently a bit less than I expected it to. I thought the other enemies were also going to <laughs> come by again, but uh, apparently not. It was only the Robot Masters this time around. So, in that case, we have reached the end. I've already closed off my video as well, so... Um, I will see you in the next one. That's the final thing I actually can say. And, uh, Shriek's out. See you in Mega Man 5 next week. Hope to see you then. <laughs>